right? Stable yes. coins has taken out volatility and allowed us to, ow, oh, I can trade. I, can, I know that it's going to be $1 to $1. I can buy off something from you. You can accept that it, and you know you're going to receive it. You don't need to worry. The next day it's gone. It's lost 20% value or 80% value. And I think, or you were that guy that spent $300 million on a pizza, right? Do you, <laughs> you know, we, nobody wants to be that person, right? I mean, the fact that you actually do spend $300 million on a pizza because you're spending the exact same amount to convert it into stable coin and then use it. But either way, that psychologically, it has a huge impact. Do you yeah. not see stable coins moving into real world? When will we be able to purchase that Starbucks coffee with a stable coin? Maybe not in the US, maybe not in China, but maybe in, in Mexico, maybe in Venezuela, right? Or where, or where, and when will that sort of start kicking in? Well, I mean, it's as at mass scale, it's going to take some time. But right now, it's we're able to do it. I know the last Bitcoin conference, you had Jack Mahler's up there from Strike. Yeah. And he was and he was talking about how you can buy anything uh, very small or very big, really, uh, just by using the Lightning Network. And you could and yeah. it was just using uh, the Bitcoin network where you could pay. You could yeah. have dollars. Bitcoin ne network transfers it over and you could pay somebody from dollars to euros or dollars to pounds or pounds to francs or whatever yeah. else it is. So, like, I see it's there. The question is, when is the adoption coming? And I think yeah. like the adoption will come once the merchants figure out of the cost savings. So right now, like I have an online education platform and I have to pay Stripe. It's, too, it's well, it depends. 2.99% plus 30 cents per transaction, which really adds up, which wow, is, still. yeah. But if you do an X amount of transactions, they're like, okay, we're gonna give you a deal. It's 1.99% yeah. plus 30 cents per transaction. And it's the same thing over at PayPal. So if you can look at that and go, okay, merchants, and let's just, yeah, not me, Let's just say in India, yep. right? And 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 we yep. did a we did a, a a story about this about how much they have to pay over there for merchants. And of course, if you're going to use cash, they use you know they use their their monetary system. But if you're going to use a yep. uh, digital transaction, Rupees. that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money yeah, that yeah, you have sure. to just for transaction yeah. costs. So once the merchants figure that out, then it kind of you know snowballs into that effect. So I think that's just one of those things that has to come through at some point. Mm -hmm.